Hey, and welcome back to my Near Automata 2B cosplay series. Today, we're creating 2B skirt out of latex, and as usual, we're starting with the design. So, I studied her skirt a bit, and it looks to be a circle skirt with a high waistband and a sash. But since we're making this skirt out of latex, I had to take some artistic liberty and make some modifications that might not match the original design, but are necessary as we're working with a material with certain characteristics. So in this case, I decided to add a zipper to the side of the skirt instead of relying just on the sash. It was hard to say if her skirt was a full circle skirt or a three-quarter circle skirt, but I personally like the look of the full circle skirt, so I decided to go with that. For the circle skirt pattern, you need to know the radius of your waistline and the length of your skirt. For the radius, you need to measure the circumference of your waist or where the skirt will sit and divide that number by two. Then you should divide that number by 3.14 and you have your radius. Then to start drawing your pattern, find the center of your pattern paper. From that center, use a ruler or a measuring tape to find your waist radius and mark that down. Now rotate your measuring device and mark the length of the radius again. Do this until you have a perfect half circle. Now for the length of the skirt, you can add the length and the waist radius measurements together and use the same center point to draw the half circle for the length. Or you can just measure the wanted length starting from the half circle we just drew. When I was studying Tubi's dress, I noticed that her dress is black on the outside, but it has a grey inner lining. I wasn't sure how I was supposed to achieve that look with latex until I learned that I can buy double-sided latex sheets. The latex I'm using for this dress is black on one side and silver on the other side. I'm placing the pattern piece on a latex sheet and drawing the outlines. For this skirt, we need two pieces from this same pattern, so I will draw and cut out two identical pieces. Next, I cleaned the side seams of the half circles with solvent and applied solvent-based latex glue on the seams and glued them together. And only later in the project, I realized that I wasn't supposed to glue the other seam, as 2B skirt is more like a wrap-on skirt with an open slit on the side, but anyway, this is how you would make a circle skirt, and the same pattern applies to fabric skirts as well. So you can stop here or add a waistband if you want to just make a regular circle skirt, but we're adding a high waistband to this, so I'm measuring out a rectangle that is the width and length that I need and cut that out. I also cut out two long strips for the sash and shaped the ends of the strips. I then proceeded to attach the sash to the sides of the waistband. Then I realized that I had forgotten to prep my zipper for gluing. If you don't know how to do that, check out my zipper tutorial on my channel. The difference here is that I finally got my hands on ammonia-based glue, which means that I don't need as many layers of glue to rubberize the zipper as I did in my tutorial where I used solvent-based glue. The zipper needs to dry for several hours, so I then decided to draw the design pattern on the skirt. I had spent weeks thinking about how to add an intricate design like this on latex, and I had all kinds of wild dreams like chlorinating it so that it stays dull when the latex is shined, or hand or laser cutting the design out of colored latex, but I realized that those were not options for me, so I hoped that maybe I could draw or stencil the design on somehow. I remember making some sharpie markings on my previous latex designs and realized that they don't come off when I polish the latex, so I did some research and found out that there are several types of sharpies that could work on black latex as well. The one that I'm using is called Sharpie Water-Based Paint Marker. Although there is also an oil-based paint marker, which is supposedly more durable, I decided to go with the water-based as oil and latex should not be combined. Latex is a natural material, and oil will actually cause the latex to break down over time. I tested out the silver and the white sharpie to see if they differ when it comes to durability. 
Unfortunately, the silver marking rubbed off almost immediately after polishing, which is a bummer since I would have wanted to have a more subtle design for the skirt, but uh, I think the white looks good as well. I had printed out a design someone had uploaded on Reddit to be used, and I had cut off some parts of it to make a stencil out of it. I couldn't cut out all the details, but I used some of the lines as a general guideline for the design and filled in the rest of the details by hand. Drawing this took me more than four hours, but it was actually quite relaxing and it got easier as after a while I was able to draw the design out of memory. I had wrapped the waistband around me to see if the fit was good, but since it was so rectangular it just bunched up at the waistline. I decided to cut some curved lines to the waistband and glue the seams back together. This gives the waistband some shape. I then took some zip ties and cut them into little corset bones. I dipped the bones in the ammonia based glue to coat them with latex and let them dry for 3 hours. After that I made some boning channels for them from latex strips. This will ensure that the waistband stays upright and doesn't bunch at the waistline anymore. Then I attached the skirt to the waistband. I used a glass globe as the skirt part was a bit longer than my waistband and therefore I had to stretch the waistband a bit while gluing. Then I finished up with attaching the zipper to the latex and again if you want to know more about gluing a zipper on latex, check out my zipper tutorial on my channel. And here's the final result. I will still make some adjustments to the skirt as the waistband is a bit loose, but overall I'm really happy how this skirt turned out. The design stayed on well despite washing and polishing and the waistband doesn't collapse on itself, thanks to the boning. Next time we will finish this series with 2B's leotard tutorial and I can't wait to see how this skirt looks with the complete outfit. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, please like, leave a comment and subscribe for future tutorials. Happy crafting!